Hello there and uh, welcome back. In this video I am going to quickly show you how you can apply a blur to any composable element out there. So the blurness in Android can be used for various different reasons. Like for example to hide a certain part of your application, when a user does not have a permission to read something, or for example when a user is not uh, authenticated, right? Now, uh, one thing to note here is that uh, this uh, blur effect uh, is available only on Android API level 12 and higher. So for a lower API levels, uh, there uh, may be a workaround, but uh, I still haven't found uh, any clean way to do it, right? Nevertheless, uh, now I'm going to show you how you can uh, quick apply a uh, blurness to your composable. So let me just open this uh, main screen. As you can see, the only thing that you need to do here is to add a simple uh, blur modifier, right? So in this case, uh, I have specified, of course, this uh, animated DP as a state so that we can actually uh, animate uh, our, um, our blurness whenever we click this uh, switch down below. As you can see, now we can see that and now we don't. We can also, for example, apply uh, this uh, blur modifier to whole column to hide basically all elements within this uh, uh, layout, right? Now, uh, one more thing that uh, you may have noticed here is that uh, around this uh, text we can see those uh, lines, right? So those lines represent the actual bounding box of this uh, text element. Now, there is a solution to hide those lines, so uh, this uh, blur uh, modifier accepts uh, two parameters, or actually uh, multiple elements, but still I'm using this uh, constructor right here, so the first one is the radius level, and this uh, second one is uh, edge treatment, right? So by default, uh, its uh, value is a blur edge treatment rectangle. However, uh, now we can change that. So for example, it's now here a right uh, edge uh, uh, treatment, then a blur edge treatment uh, unbounded, right? And whenever we uh, use this uh, unbounded uh, uh, parameter, uh, then those lines will now disappear because our blur will now expand over that uh, boundary box which we have on our text element. So if you try to run this uh, example on uh, lower API levels uh, below uh, Android 12, uh, then in that case this uh, blur effect uh, or a blur modifier will basically not work, right? So as you can see here, it actually doesn't work. So I haven't been able to find uh, any clean solution for uh, API levels below 12, but if you have something, then uh, feel free to comment down below and let me know. And that will be all for uh, this video, so I just wanted to share with you this little uh, blur modifier, which you can use to easily apply a blur level to each and every composable function out there. There you go. So be sure to comment down below and let me know uh, what you think about uh, not being able to actually use this uh, blur on uh, API uh, levels below Android 12. And of course, uh, like this video, but only if you find it helpful. For this video, that will be all. I'm a legend when they lay me down to rest